Alrighty, so we just had one battle against Greenskins, and now we're going against Undead, or at least I believe it's Undead, seeing as the level is called Caves of the Dead. Let's see. Stefan and Gunther must dare to abode of a deadly vampire. Must dare the abode of a deadly vampire in order to retrieve the sword of Mandrit's champion. All right. Let's fight. So it's heroes only. Um, we got a healer. We got Stefan. Let's go with. Who needs the XP? The bright wizard, but I'd rather go with the jade actually. Or do I? Yeah, let's do it. We have any items left that we can give? Standard iron. Um, let's give this to. Can I give that to them? Doesn't seem like I can. Maybe if I give this specific banner to them, can I now give it to them? I can. Alright. I'd rather give that to the... Shooting damage resistance. Let's give that to the Jade Wizard. What does this do again? Armor magic resistance. I'll give that to my captain. The duelist guy. Nothing interesting there. Got some magic. Toss that to the... Uh, actually... That. Give Gunter some magic as well. He can heal, so he definitely needs it. Jade Wizard? Nope. Bright Wizard? Nope. Captain? Nope. Okay. Let's go. Warriors only. Or heroes only, it rather. Vampires are as varied as man. Some crave worldly power, some arcane knowledge. All vampires are vast and vicious, but their deadliest power is their ability to raise the dead. They all vary, but I wonder if there's any good vampires as well. They're all fast and vicious, but surely there must be a good vampire out there somewhere. So we got, I'm assuming that's a vampire there in the red. The red smoke. Looks like a female. And it erased a s army of skeletons. Should have brought my bright wizard. Anything down here? Nope. Am I still on my horse? Yes, yeah, Stefan is still on his horse. What is this? Skeletal warriors. Yeah, they look kind of weak. Alright, there's more of them. Do I have an attacking ability? Target units does not suffer morale loss. Stefan's got a nice sweeping blades. Storm of steel. Electrify them. There we go. These are skeletal archers. Just two of them left. Right, there's another patch. You guys get shocked. I thought I gave a sword to the uh, brother Gunther. He does. 
Because it doesn't change this character. He's still wielding his hammer. Let's take down the sarcophagus. There's items in them. I knew it. It's going to take a while. You got to break that. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Foe has been spotted? Where? We got some potions. We actually have a lot of. We have even have three of these things, which are healing my units. I'm sp saving all of them. That's 75 extra units if I need them. That's a lot actually. Where's the foe? Then they keep mentioning the foe's been spotted, but. There? No, I don't think we do. So we're gonna break open all these sarcophagus, else they keep rising. Or at least that's what I got from his. Uh, that's what he said, I believe. Another item? Oh, it's gold. What are we, grave robbers? I guess we are. Take that thing now. That one has a lot of HP though. Um, are you gonna break or not? There we go. Now we have to go to the right. Two points available. Uh, one of those. One of those. Gunther. He's a combat specialist. There we go, and then we got the Jade Wizard as well. They sure take their sweet time. Come on, guys, run. We got a Banshee this time. Alright, cost this lightning bolt thing. You go Storm of Steel. Throw a lightning bolt at them. dead or she's dead <laughs> come on warrior priest whack them with your hammer hammer time <laughs> right so there should be more tombs here Where 
working on it. <laughs> I'm pushing this guy again. <laughs> it just looks so funny. Alright, we took out all the archers with just one lightning bolt. Gonna keep these guys busy on the undead. And I'll use Stefan to loot the rest of his tombs. Take this item, you go there. Any other place I can go? No. So it's only this small part of the tomb. Wall the car Ratep. It's a tomb. I can heal the Jade Wizard a little bit, so. Boom. I have a different theory. I'm gonna crush you into a small little bit of itsy bitsy pieces. This guy's, I believe, immortal. But if you destroy this thing, he'll die. Lightning on these. Or those then. For some reason it didn't cost. How about you cost lightning? Come on. There we go. There's a lot of hit points. You keep him busy. I can heal myself as much as needed anyway. <laughs> Thousand gold, that's a lot, man. Need to heal myself. Heal yourself, Gunther. There we go. Ten health. That's a lot. Another item. Things should be going down soon, right? Heal yourself. Okay, he's still alive, but maybe I just made that up that he can resurrect if that thing is still alive. Well, he's almost dead anyway. Down he goes. 
Sword of Mandrat claimed. Perfect. And that's it. That was quite an easy mission there. We only can use our heroes, but we got a healing hero, so... Alright, you are victorious. Let's check what kind of goodies we got. We get 99 kills, but no deaths. That's my favorite kind of... Favorite kind of result. So we are now on the, the plus that's actually in the middle. We can go down one more and then I believe we'll be switching over to the elves. That's how I see it at least. So before I go there I want to see if I can... Um, actually I think all my troops are already maxed out at the moment. There's not much I can do. Enter town. Enter barracks. Fledglings, are they for sale? Nope. Um, we got a lot of items, so let's check out the items. Stefan. This is sort of mandrit. 30% chance to hit with 25, 10% attack speed. 20% attack speed, so yeah, definitely better. What does it say? The sword of Count Mandrit's Skaven Slayer gives the wield a tremendous accuracy and lightning speed. Alright, we'll take this one. We'll give it to um, maybe Gunther. What does he wield? 15% chance to hit. This actually looks like a good sword for dueling. Because, I think... Units heroes are considered large. Where can I see that again? I was able to see that before, but I might be mistaken. Maybe it's only uh, Stefan because he was on the mount. All right, that's where was I able to buy that? The armory. Um, also gains the large attribute, so yeah, that might only be... Might only be for, um... Sorry, I got sidetracked here. Might only be for mounted heroes. Give this sword. Okay, how am I going to do this? Scroll down, give it to him. Perfect. Any else? Any other goodies I got? Not here at least. What is this? Talisman of Protection. It's a necklace. Alright, so that one's going to Gunther. But that was a mana stone to be honest. There we go. What else do we got? Cooldown reduces to zero. That might be a good one for my healing. Perfect. And then... Let's give one of these potions to the dueler. Got Brother Gunther with 10% movement speed. This is 5%. 5% to the Jade Wizard. And he's got movement speed plus magic resistance. He's got a chest armor. He's got one as well. And we got a staff to cool down. And, okay, so we can take that one. The Jade Wizard. Alright, that's it. So let's step down one more time here to Gruber's False Sorcery. Probably a cutscene or something.
The sky ahead writes with energy, a shapeless swarm of flies and filth that blocks the old passage forward. The churning morass seems to stretch onto the north and south without end. Alright, so this is the end. Paul sorcery steers the winds of magic, undetected, perhaps expect, except by the lore master. switching to the elves now because uh, Stefan von Castle is basically no longer able to continue forward so we're stuck here if you try switching to him it will say this army cannot move right now because of the pestilence I think this is the spell the black things you see here not sure if it's everywhere on the map let me check if it's here as well It's here. Not really sure. Are those birds? They might be birds, I don't know. Anyway, we are switching over to Aurelian now, right now. So let's make camp. Yeah, so this is basically the way it set up the last time we played them. Nothing's changed much. Not even their XP, I think. Nope, so nothing changed here really. Got two silver helms. We got one spearman, we got two archers, and we got one shadow warrior. So in the next video, we'll go to Knives in the Night. Gonna end the video here, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then.